Hello, I'm Marty Sharp with UltraSafe, and today we're going to demonstrate a new addition to the UltraSafe product line, the Safe Edge Trailer, which is a portable anchorage point. And uh, we'll wheel it in here and go over some of the points of the new item. It's a portable trailer that can be uh, wheeled around on decking, uh, metal or concrete. Uh, it's good anchorage for two people, and we'll demonstrate some of the uh, ways to set it up and how it can be used. As you can see, uh, uh, this can be hoisted up on the building or on a uh, freight elevator. It weighs approximately 2,000 pounds. So here we're demonstrating the bridle, bridle that can be hooked into a crane. Here we've uh, attached our fall protection devices to the back of the trailer. Uh, it's designed for retractable lanyards only and also uh, keep in mind that ultra-safe retractables can be used off of drops, off of fleeting edges. Uh, make sure you check with your manufacturer that your retractables can be used in that configuration um, so there's no problems there. Also, the bridle is clipped out of the way. The back legs are permanently installed and then there's um, quick release hooks on the front so you can unhook it so you'll have room for your retractables. Here we see the uh, Safe Edge trailer in its work mode with all four jacks uh, lifting all four tires off the ground. Uh, you see that the wedge feet are pointed towards um, the leading edge. Uh, they want to be pointed that direction in a drop. They actually dig into the concrete or decking. So uh, make sure you pay attention to that. The next thing we'll show is an actual drop with the Safe Edge trailer. Now we're going to uh, simulate a drop with this trailer. Uh, we have our two retractables hooked up. We have a uh, rigid test weight hooked up to these two retractables. Uh, we're using 440 pounds. It's a rigid test weight. And the reason we use uh, 440 pounds, that simulates the same as two 310 pound individuals, which would be pretty unlikely them both dropping off at the same time. It's going to be a worst case scenario. We're making sure that we have all our jacks up that the uh, foot wedges are pointing towards the fleeting edge and now we're going to uh, drop the 440 pounds and one thing you'll see on this trailer in a drop is designed actually to scoot slightly and the reason for that especially with some retractables on the market when the line goes over a fleeting edge and it hits real hard like that there's a tennis some retractables on the market will cut this will actually allow it to move over about a five or six inch area spreading that impact that over the line of the retractable but again you could even tie a ultra safe retractable up to a a totally rigid um, tie-off point and you wouldn't have to worry about shear factor but we just do that to help it out a little bit again it's designed just to scoot just a little bit Again, uh, the reason we're using 440 pound rigid test weight, again, that's the same um, as two 310 pound individuals because the human body has natural shock absorbing capabilities. The organs slosh around, uh, your spinal cord bounces, uh, where a rigid test weight is going to make a lot more severe um, hit. So that's why the weight's only 220 pounds per side or 440 pound test weight. Again, uh, concerns about fleeting edge, the next part of our video we're going to show a rigid test weight of 220 pounds going off a fleeting edge over actually a, 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 a piece of uh, one inch plate steel and then we're going to pull test the cable afterwards and we'll take a look at that. Thank you. Again, that test was to show that the ultra-safe retractables can be used over a, uh, a leading edge or a fleeting edge. Um, and even afterwards, you saw in the destruction test of the cable, it's still net spec. Uh, but again, always check with your manufacturer's recommendation about that particular situation and making sure that you follow the manufacturer's recommendation. Thank you very much.